Watch the image on your screen closely. We've got a quick question for you about these two squares. True or false, this top one here is a darker gray than the bottom one. Pretty obvious, right? Well, maybe not, because the answer is actually false. Believe it or not, they are exactly the same color. Still don't believe these two squares are the same shade of gray? This man, experimental neuroscientist Bo Lotto, is going to show you why your brain is constantly being fooled by what it sees. We'll take a look at the illusion again. If you want, try holding up one of your hands and block this section of the image. If you're having trouble seeing it, we'll help you out. Crazy, right? Take a look at this object. One glance and you know what it is. But how do you know what it is and where it's positioned in space? Well, let's break it down. The light reflected by this object is converted by your eyes into an electrical signal and is sent down a neurological pathway called the optic nerve to the back of your brain. Starting in this region, called the visual cortex, the image is cross-referenced with memory of past experiences stored throughout your brain as you try to identify the object. Once it's figured out what it is, your brain has to decide how the object is positioned in space, and one of its most reliable tools is to use shadows. Here's another illusion to show you how that works. Take a look at that basketball again. We're going to put it on the court and move it along a diagonal. Now we're going to add a shadow. It's still moving in the same way, right? Okay, so what if we change the position of the shadow? Do you think we can trick your brain into seeing the ball's motion differently? Does it look like the ball is taking off now? Let's tweak the shadow one more time. What's the ball doing now? Looks like it's bouncing, right? In a world with a single light source, your brain has learned to trust shadows as a near foolproof way to know the behavior of objects in space. And in general, it's worked. Until now. Behind me, there are two shadows that both appear gray because we have two white lights that are facing me. Now, if we replace with a purple filter, let's see what happens to the colors you see. The shadow no longer looks gray, it looks green. So the question is, where is that green light coming from? Well, there is no green light. The shadow's gray, but it looks green. Why? Because of the color that's surrounding it. Context is everything. Let's start with this illusion. Stare at the X in the middle of the image. Do you see the green dot moving around in a circle? Now try to follow that green dot with your eyes. Nothing there, right? This illusion helps demonstrate how quickly your brain finds motion in your surroundings. Want to see how it does this? As you watch the X, neurons throughout your visual cortex compare the image you're looking at from one moment to the next. Specific neurons track the changing position of objects between the images, allowing you to comprehend them as moving through space. In the moving circle test, the missing dot here leaves an after image. As this after image shifts position, your brain sees a pattern that it decides is motion, and it stitches together the frames to see a moving green dot. Cool, right?